and welcome to another exciting episode of Raw Time, right here, CTV Beam, with this man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Coach Jason again. Yeah, I didn't go to school for the doctor. No, you didn't, but that. hey, I'm going to give it to you, Coach. How's it going, man? It's going good, man. How you, you been? See, hey, trying to get through this weather, Coach. It's been kind of dreary out here in, in the south. And Yeah, it's not what I moved down here for. I know, it's, I know it, but you know, we've had, had these hot days and then these rainy days and... Grass is growing too fast. There Can't you go. Got to get a cut. And go go away on a way trip. Come back. Grass is taller than me. <laughs> Interesting, right? Yeah. How's the family, Coach? Everybody Family's good. good. good Family's good. good. Family's good. Well, Back coach, we, we've had a couple. We've had a, another bye week upon us, and and you know, I guess the question that comes to my mind is, with these kind of bye episodes, um, do we get a little weary and anxious, and a little sluggish maybe throughout the course of this time? I think it. Re- I mean, I think it refreshes you a lot, but uh, I think us having some early success is what more I'm more worried about than. The bye week. The bye weeks needed from rest because a lot of teams right now are beat up. Yeah, and uh, we're not as much, you know, so much because of you know we haven't played as many games as the other teams have. But the the main thing is complacency, being having some early success and thinking that hey, we're where we're supposed to be, and I gotta give them a little bit of humble pie. Yeah, so gotta do it. Gotta do. It. Well, coach, let's talk about this recap, and then before we even get to that, let's talk about the sponsors that we have for today's show. Midas, oh, we love those guys over at Midas. Midas Touch. Midas Touch. Midas of Columbus. USAA and Dr. J. Broadwood and Associates. They are our sponsors today. We are highlighting them today right here at Roar Time. So, Coach, let's do a little recap. You know, we were on the road against Lehigh Valley. Right. Um, we call it planes, trains, and, and automobiles. Yes. I love it how you do that. And that was a pretty stellar victory for us. 77-38 was the outcome in that matchup. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about, you know, the whole scenario with Lehigh. That they're not top of the league, no. as we would say. Well, it was we talked about it being a trap game because they were had won a game. Correct. Going into a bye week, we were traveling. It was just a lot of situations. We had a late flight, got there late. Um, so it was a lot going on. Yeah. And the guys handled it well. We went to the arena, got there, and, uh, you know, we started out first play of the game was a fumble by them. Mm. And the third play of the game was a touchdown by us, and it just started to roll from there. Um, and it rolled pretty quick. I mean, I think the final was uh, 77-38. Yeah. But they, um, <clears throat> that, you know, that's the most points Lehigh scored all year long. But towards the end of the game, I mean, it wasn't about – I mean, look, it's never about stats. I don't – you know, I know people need that to talk about it on the radios and all these little talk shows about, oh, they gave up this many points. We don't care, man. It's just a W. That's it. We got the win. Care if it's one to nothing. Yeah. Um, and so – you know, all I care about is we played well. I mean, you look at statistics. If you want to talk statistics, then let's talk statistics. You know, it's the number one scoring defense in the league. Yeah. So I don't care if we gave a 38 or whatever. We still got the number one scoring defense in the league. You know, we're the number one team in the league on third down conversions, and we're the number one team in the league on allowing our opponents on third downs. Mm. We're the number one team in the league on fourth down conversions. We're the number one team in the league on defense allowing fourth down conversions. Mm-hmm. Those are the things. We're the number one team in red zone offense and number one team in red zone defense. The rest of this stuff is irrelevant. Yeah. Yards per game. Yards mean nothing. I've never seen a game that said, hey, guess what? You guys won because you had 500 yards. Never happened. It goes by points. That's right. That's right. And we do pretty good on this. We do. If you ain't number one, you ain't nothing. <laughs> what Ricky Bobby That's said. That's what he said. You're not first, you're last. Yes, there you go. Come on. Get so. with it. You heard it right here. Right here one more time. Yeah. Well, Coach. <laughs> That's pretty phenomenal when it gets down to it. Um, so what do we have to do? Or what are we doing, I should say, during the course of this bye week? I mean, if, you, if we're resting. I, I sent everybody home. We rested. Uh, that's good. We all needed it, you know? I, you know so sent everybody home. We rested up. Tried to tie up some loose ends. We got a huge stretch coming that we'll talk about later in the show. And uh, it was just, I think it's good. It's good to step away a little bit and, and get refreshed. So. I've never had this many bye weeks early in the season. Yeah. We're going to see how it plays out. Right now, I'm going to sit here and tell you, hey, this is great. Kind of liked it. It gives us a chance to get a jump on everybody, an early jump. Correct. You know, I'd rather have, I'd rather be in this situation where we're sitting at 4-1, and one, healthy, even though the back end of the schedule is really hard, than flipping it. Let's say we're sitting here at 3-4, and four, banged up, going, oh, well, I can't wait to get to the bye week in week 13. Yeah, yeah. Playing for it. 
Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'll take it. And, and so on the bye week, we just took everybody off. And I even gave them off Monday for Memorial Day. So, you know. That's beautiful. Um, That's beautiful. went from there. Yeah. So when we start talking about, I call it our sick and shut-in list, but it's formally called the Houston Clinic Injury Report List. Whew. What is that looking like right now? Uh, we got Jeremy Schaumbrenner back. He was out. He was out all season so far with the knees. He had knee scopes. So Jeremy's back at center to help compete and go against you know Ronnie Burrow, who Ronnie's playing great for us right now, uh, really good for us. Um, so he's back. Uh, Marte Sears is still out. Kendrick, you know, Washington's still out. Yeah. Uh, got a couple guys nicked and bruised. Uh, Jermon Fortson had a had to get his hand looked at, but he he's fine. And um, uh, Greg Hall Jr. is still kind of limping around a little bit. He played through it. He played through the game. He had an a ankle injury that's been kind of nagging him all season long. So we got to get Greg healthy. Greg's third in the league in sacks. Mm. So that's somebody we got to have. Exactly. That's and, a powerhouse. Um, we got to have that right now. But, yeah, you know, and Hicks is still banged up. Quavon, you know, still banged up a little bit, but he's a pro. He toughs through it, and, and we get rocking and rolling. And then the other guys are some nicks and bruises, but they're they're not going to say anything. They're just going to rock and roll. Because they're, 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 they're sheer professionals at what they do. Yeah. So, so a little pain here well, and there. Well, because – if you don't play, then somebody else comes in and plays for you. There and you if go. that guy plays well, you're not getting back in. That's right. And guys know that. And it's just nature of the game, and, and it's a tough business, but uh, that's how you got to play it. That's right. That's right. Well, Coach, this is an opportunity right here for us to go ahead and give some shout-outs to some of our favorite people, um, our sponsors. Yeah, we'll start with uh, Country Inn and Suites uh, up on Williams Road, Fiona. They uh, take care of some of our players. they got some great rates for everybody. Uh, you got to go up there and stay. They also, we have a promotion. They're doing uh, tickets for people, for, you know, customers that are staying there during the week and okay. starting going through our next home game. But uh, definitely go see Country Inn and Suites up there on, on Williams Road. Uh, we talked about uh, Rivertown GMC. Yeah. Those guys out there. I tell you, my buddy's got a, my buddy just bought a truck from out there. And every time I see it, I'm thinking, man, I'm going <laughs> to wind up going in debt because I'm going to go out there and buy one of these trucks. Um, never had a GMC. And I rode in one yesterday. I tell you what. It's a luxury on wheels, huh? Man, why not get in that truck? That's how that's how they get you. Yeah. You know? Test driving. Yeah, they come for a ride. I mean, and they really do. Take that it is, home for the weekend. Show the wife. I'm like, what can we sell so I can get me a new truck? <laughs> um, but, yeah, Rivertown GMC, uh, there are definitely um, you know, some really good sponsors for us. You know, we already talked about USAA. Absolutely. Uh, Jordan, Jordan's Dogs, uh, Shred Away from... Um, Overby, Shred Overby, yeah, Overby yeah. Shred Away for sure. Air Force Reserve, um, you know the list goes on and on. It, as far as uh, um, you know, sponsors in town, the look, players, locals, billets, billiards, yeah. yep, yeah, players, billiards, yeah. Love that place, man. So there, there, there's a lot of good people in town, and um, and we'll just keep plugging them and keep visiting them. The hangouts, the hangout, yeah. Gotta I tell you, folks. I tell you what we did uh, yesterday. You know, we uh, we start, we're starting to deliver some meals to different sponsors and we're going to deliver meals from the hangout okay you know kind of surprise people yeah. lunch so we surprised somebody uh, uh this morning or today at a uh, hilton garden inn because hilton right. garden inn is where all the, the visiting teams stay yeah over off of bradley park exit three okay and that place is nice yeah, it is so you got to go see the hilton garden inn so definitely nikki at the hangout they got great food there um golden corral i mean there's just there's so many people but you know even yesterday we had a meeting and the first thing that we said was well, I'm only going to go eat someplace that supports us. This is what go. we did. There you go. Makes sense. You know, you know, you went the tires first that day because that we had day, mentioned some it. Nice tires. And, and, and things just keep tumbling. And I was talking to one of our owners the other day just about, you know, the business that breeds business that breeds business that breeds business. Yeah. So, anyway, I know you know people get tired of hearing about it, but there's some really good businesses here in Columbus and that do support us. And um, you know, you got to get with it. Muscle Maker Grill. Wow, they feed the players every Tuesday and Thursday. That's huge. That's all Fort Benning, and you've got to get that. I mean, they can order the food, they'll deliver it, drop it off at your doorstep. You can't get any better than that. Coach. Five meals, thirty-four bucks. What? I went to Subway for two people, eight, eighteen dollars. Won't be back. <laughs> Until you're a sponsor. Interesting. There you go. <laughs> Subway. Hint. <laughs> well, Coach. You know, we would be remiss if we did not give shout outs to our sponsors because um, it's what we do, it's who we are. Um, the fact that we are a Lion Nation means something and, and sponsorship is a great part of that. Lion Nation, hold to your seats. We'll be right back with more information here, right here at CTV Beam with Roar Time. Hold tight, we'll be right back. Rivertown Buick GMC is going deep with our deepest discounts of the year. 
Every select new Buick and GMC model scores with thousands below MSRP. And your team of new 2018s are lining up. Backed by our low price promise, we'll meet or beat any price. You get $1,000. Plus, get the right way guarantee with limited lifetime powertrain protection. We are Rivertown Buick GMC. And we are the king of trucks. Thanks, Dr. J. My back feels so much better. Now tell me where I can go for my headaches. Really? You don't need to go anywhere else. That's what we do. Well, what about my shoulder? That's what we do. Pinch nerve? That's what we do. Well, what about this problem? That's what we do. Sciatica? With almost a half a million patient visits over the last 34 years, don't just take my word for it. Ask a friend. Call Dr. J. Broadwin and Associates today. Hello and welcome back to Roar Time with Head Coach Jason Gibson. I am that mere voice in the wind. Dr. Love in the jungle, Eric Fowler out here in the streets. CTV Beam is the place to be for Roar Time. Coach, we we're just coming out of break and we wanted to go ahead and continue in that same vein. We've got some additional sponsors. Got to get them in, man. Got it. Uh, we've got to talk about Sprague Supplies, longtime sponsor of the Lions. Uh, they sponsor the catch of the game. There's three locations. Alexander Street, Phoenix City Bypass, and uh, an Auburn and Opelika Road. Motors Acceptance Corporation, are you trapped in a tidal pond? Lower your interest and lower your payments. Get up to 1000 in cash from Motor Acceptance Corporation. Just call 1-800-NEW-RATE, Air Force Reserve Recruiting, uh, Texas Roadhouse, home of the fall off the rib, fall off the bone ribs. Yes. Um, at 2970 North Lake Parkway, Overby Company Shredaway. I got to keep them, you know, I love those guys got down there. Uh, we talked about Midas of Columbus. Air Force Reserve, Players, Restaurant, Billiards, and Locals Bar and Grill. Each home game fans can cast their ballots at the Lions Fan Center to win either lunch at Players on 54th Street or dinner at Locals on Somerville Road with one of your favorite Lions players. And don't forget to sign up for the Metro PCS um, quarterback, minute, quarterback for a Minute Challenge. That's a great promotion we do at halftime yeah. where you, uh, you can register at the uh, fan at the, in the concourse. Uh, to, for a chance to win the Metro PCS quarterback for a challenge. Be sure to visit all Metro PCS stores here in Columbus, uh, Phoenix City. Absolutely. And if I might also add, we still want to plug in the opportunity for our viewership to send their questions to you, Coach. Yes, definitely send your questions in. Um, they're always fun. Uh, some of them I can't read. Some of these questions are getting a little weird. but <laughs> <laughs> Well, good stuff. Good stuff. Coach, let's talk a little more football. We are preparing to hit the road yet again this weekend, going into Jacksonville, Florida, to play a formidable foe, if you will, uh, the Jacksonville Sharks. Well, we know how the outcome was when they made their first visit to us. Right. Um, got a little interesting, you know, really a little, little rough and tough there uh, for a minute. And uh, so as we prepare for the shootout, of things to, to come in Jacksonville. What are we doing in essence to make some preparations for this game? Well, I mean, they, they've gotten better. Okay. First of all, they've upgraded at, at certain things. Um, they, 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 they've, they've won by I think three and four in a row. Oh, okay. So four in a row. They were one and three. Now they're, I think they're five and three. Wow. Okay. So they're getting after it and, and, uh, you know, they beat Maine once and they beat Le Lehigh Valley twice on that, that win streak. So, okay. um, but, the, the thing that they did the best is they upgraded McPherson at quarterback. You know, he's, a, he's a vet. He's a really good player. Brought him back, huh? Brought him back. You know, he, he'd been around Arena for a while, and in his prime, he was as good as there was. Um, you know, we talked off camera a little bit, I think, his first game back, and I was kind of like, ooh, maybe he shouldn't have came back. <laughs> now, after watching his last game, I'm like, ooh, man, I wish he hadn't have came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he just looks really good. Okay. And uh, they had a huge win at Mass. I think he threw seven touchdowns. He looked sharp. And that was the one piece that they were missing because their defense um, was always dominant. And uh, so, you know, bringing him back, getting him on that win streak, feeling the confidence. They, they upgraded the receiver a couple positions. Um, they're just starting to put pieces together to get that team back to where they got to be. And that's what's great about the NAL is it's a long season. Yeah. And I told my players, it's yeah, so what, you're 4-1. You know, pat yourself on the back. But – all of a sudden, five weeks from now, we could be four and five and That's going, true. what in the world just happened That's here? That's right. Yeah, you're right. And it's quick. But, you know, yeah. going back to Jacksonville, just, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be tough. I mean, we're going to have to, uh, you know, 
you know, score a lot of points and, 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 and you know, you're right. I mean, as, as good as both defenses are, I think the offenses are clicking that it, it could turn out to be a shootout. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you're talking about a high scoring game of, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if you saw a 60, 60 something game okay. between the two teams and we better, you know, we better come ready and I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to put some points up. That's right. Well, it's definitely going to be a high spirited game. Nonetheless, I mean, you want, we want to definitely keep the game inside the arena, not in the parking lot, but definitely inside the arena. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, it's, you know, somebody asked me the other day about, about, you know, what's it like playing Jacksonville again and they your rival. Not really. Yeah. The NAL is so good. Every team's a rival. I agree. You I agree. know, yeah. every team you play, even Lehigh right now, they're just down, but they got a really good coach and they're going to, uh, uh, they're, they're going to fix some things. Um, you know, I just traded him a really good quarterback. Yeah. Darn right I did because I don't play him anymore. <laughs> That's right. And I need them to beat some other teams. Yeah. So, and they will because they just picked up a couple linemen. They picked up a new quarterback. Lee Eyes will call some waves in the back end of this season. Okay. So that's a good thing for us. But but all the teams in the league are really good. Yeah. So every week you've got to show up. So to sit there and say, you know, you're a rival. I mean, you know, if it sells tickets, sure. It ain't in my mind. Our biggest competition is our own self. That's right. Yeah. I mean, and I don't look at the schedule and say, oh, wow. Holy cow, we're, we're playing Jacksonville this week. We better ramp it up. No, well, we're playing Columbus. There you go. And if we do what we do, then it'll handle itself out. We win, we win, we lose, we lose. Um, as long as we play well. Um, and, and that's just my philosophy about it. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game. And and um, their defense is, you know, Jeremiah Price, you know, best defense been in the league. Yeah. yeah. You know, I talked to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, if you're watching, I, I do. I think you, you're one of the best ones out there. He's a class act. Okay. I can't believe nobody in their organization hasn't gotten him to the next level yet because he is by far – should be in the CFL. The guy can flat out play. The yeah. guy can play. And the fact that he's still there and not playing in the CFL is amazing to me. Mm. But, you know, he's a great guy. He's a pro. Yeah. Derek Ross, you know, is a great guy. He's a pro. I love playing against Derek. He's, you know, and that's what the league's about. Exactly. That level well, of competition. Well, it's not just that. It's the level of competition that Derek brings, that Jeremiah brings, that, you know, my, a lot of my players bring, the, the Robert Sands of the world, the Robert Caldwells, the Mason Espinosas, the Duran Neals. Yeah. Those guys are professional players. The punks that were at the first game that don't know how to keep, you know, keep their cool on the field, and, you know, that's not what football's about. Those, those guys are, those guys are yeah. idiots. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. Oh, hey, you know, you challenged my manhood. Let me go ahead and fight on the field. I mean, it's just – People won't pay to see that. They no. want to see that crap. They can go watch an MMA fight. There you go. There you, you know go. what I mean? Yeah. So uh, that's why I enjoy, you know, a playing against a, a professional like Derek Ross, like Jeremiah Price, because it raises the level of stakes of the game. Yeah. Uh, and and that's what makes it fun. Now, you know, if it's just like the NFL. If you look in the NFL, you know, if you're in the NF, what is it, NFC South, and all of a sudden look up and, and you're the Bucks. You got to play Drew Brees one week, then you got to play Matt Ryan one week. Then you got to turn around and I'm missing one now. Breeze, Matt Ryan, who else? Oh, and Cam Newton. Yeah. That's a tough conference. That is. And that's what the NEL is getting to in our world is every week you got to play a Sean Bracken. Now you got to play a, a Adrian McPherson from Jacksonville. Um, you know, and, and, so, and, and it just keeps building the competition and building the league. So, plus they're playing at home and they play well at home. Plus you get the same officials. They've had the same officials at home, I think, the entire season. Wow. Must be nice. Yeah. Good job. Because, Jeremiah, you're off sides every time you line up. And, <laughs> and they you know ain't called it. it. We look at it in film, and it's like the biggest joke in the film room. Like, yeah. how does he get away with that? That's right. So, if you're getting away with it, we're going to get away with it. So, just watch. Mm. He knows Heard it here. Playing. Heard it here. Well, Coach, you know, enough about Jacksonville Sharks. I mean, we, we've done some um, recruiting ourselves. Yes. In terms of um, some preparation of, of talent. So, let's talk about that a little bit. we got two guys from the – Ohio State University. Yeah, I mean, uh, Clayton Banner, our personnel guy's good. Yeah, he is. And One of the best. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I couldn't even take a quarter of the credit for the team that we have because if you look at our team top to bottom, I mean, not many teams in the league will stack up talent to talent. That's right. And, and unfortunately, that, that's kind of, by me saying that, that throws me underneath the bus mm. because with the talent we have, we better win. Yeah, yeah. And, and – if you look across the board, just go position by position. I mean, we've got top two tailbacks, fullbacks in the league, Derek Ross, Quavon Hicks. There's not a question. And, and, and it's not in my opinion. 
there ain't a person that's going to walk out of that arena and say, holy cow, number 10 for, for Columbus is pretty good. Yeah. That's, this is factual. You know. Yeah, the evidence, the proof is in the pudding. Jermon Ford's number one receiver in the league. Come on. Everybody knows it. The stats know it. Yeah. Um, Mason Espinosa's top one, two quarterback in the league. Yeah. Efficiency. He's got 33 touchdown passes in one pick. Completion percentage is almost 70%. The next guy's at 55%. So, you know, all the way across the board, position by position, you, we're just, we got good players. So, going back to the new guys we signed, we bring in uh, Steve Miller out of Ohio State. Yeah. You know, Steve's 13 game starter for Ohio State. Uh, picked off the pass in the Sugar Bowl against Alabama. Yeah. In the huge. championship game. Ran that back. So, Steve came in, he was just got cut in the CFL and some NFL teams. And then his teammate, uh, uh, Savon Pittman. Mm. And both those guys are 6'4", 250, and they come off the edge. Some horses. And, and that just adds to the Darius Rosser, who's playing great for us. Greg Hall, Jr., who's third in the league in sacks. Um, Corey Crawford, who had to sit out of game for personal reasons. Um, and Corey's back. And so, you know, I'm trying to line our team up with as many defensive players as we can possibly handle. Exactly. And just keep coming and keep coming. Because defense wins championships. That's right. All the time. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what we're aiming to do. Yes. Yeah. Is, 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 is bring a good defense and, and get after the quarterback. So those guys are part of it. Uh, we got a couple more. I mean, we might, we got another big signing next week if we can get them. Okay. Could be the missing piece that's going to really put us over the top. Um, and we're waiting to see uh, how it pans out with the NFL team he's with. If not, he'll be here. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll keep that little top seat right now under the carpet, so to speak, under the rug until we make it happen. Well, Coach, let's talk a little bit about this fan bus experience that we we got going on. What's right. that all about? That's pretty cool. So, 56 passenger bus. Okay. We sell a fan experience that is a bus ride to the game, a hotel, ticket to the game, and the ride home. And all of it is with the players. Mm. So, they literally, when the team leaves for the bus trip, for the fan experience, you're literally going to ride on the bus with the players, stay at the same hotel with the players, be able to get to the arena early with the players, yeah. watch the game, and ride home with the team. And it's an experience, I'm telling you. It's different than just taking a regular old fan bus. A lot of teams will just do a fan bus. This is a fan experience. This is kind of an ultimate behind the scenes. And you will see some things and hear some things I really don't want you to hear. Mm, but okay. they all have to be 18 and older. That's all right. So there's, um, there's, there's an age restriction. But, I mean, I'm just saying, it's, it's, you get to bond and, and see the behind the scenes and get to know people, get to know these players and who they are personally besides just the guy in a helmet with a number on. That's right. And you see how things work and the preparations and, and the hotel rooms and the team meetings and the breakfasts and the travel to the arena. And it's, it's worth every cent. I mean, I think uh, it's almost sold out for this trip. And then we'll have another fan experience for the Carolina game in mid-June. Okay. It should be a great trip going up there. Yeah. Um, and it's limited to – we only do 12 seats per game. I don't just pack it out as much as I can. It's limited. Gotcha. It's a great experience and it's fun. And we've got some people that are going that, that probably this is their third time. My goodness. So, so what do those what do those normally go for? Just uh, a, it's a uh, 150 a ticket. Okay. But that's a bus ride, a ticket, and a hotel room. Come on, you can't beat that. No, no. You cannot you don't have beat to drive. that. Drive. You, you know, you're back. You know, you'll leave right after the game with the team. And it's just a it's a great experience, man. And and uh, I'm excited for the fans to get to go and give them a behind the scenes look at what really happens. That's awesome. I mean, that's really like literally in your face kind of. That's reality I mean, TV. That, that is. I mean, we that, should that film really, it. You, you really should. That'd be an awesome. Addition to Roar Time, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm gonna we'll talk to C T V B and see if they can let Toy Guard come. Yeah, that in. guy over there, Toy Guard. See he what does we, a good job. Yeah, they do a good job over there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Fan bus experience, you gotta be a part of it. Uh so please, if you if there's opportunity, is there well, is it already sold out, coach, for for this opportunity? Yes. It is sold out. Okay. You got to wait. I think it's June 23rd is our next away trip to Carolina, the next bus trip. Okay. I, I, I ain't figured out how to do a fan experience on the plane ride yet. I don't know if I, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to do that. That's too yeah, much. A lot of liability involved in that yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, let's coach. Let's talk a little bit about community. You know, our lines are always doing something in the community. Anything recent that has kind of come up? Uh, go ahead. We got two things coming up. Two things coming up. Well, for summertime, and what do you do in summertime? Summer, summer, summertime. You yeah. send kids. That's a good song. <laughs> you send kids to camp. There you go. So we have a Royal Lions Roar Camp on uh, June 25th, 26th, 27th. It's on the website. It's a big logo. Uh, Royal Lions Roar Youth Camp. It's for ages. I want to say five to ten. Oh. Um, it's going to be a great camp. It's going to be run by all my players. They'll get a shirt. They get a hat. Um, 
it's in the morning. The best part is rain or shine, you're good because it's inside, go. so you can kind of right beat inside. the heat. You know, I've done a couple soccer camps in the past. You can get there in the morning where it's 100 oh, degrees. Oh, my goodness. Especially yeah. in July, jo- June, oh, yeah. July. Georgia weather? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, we got the camp. Um, it's June 25th. You can register right up to the day of the camp, but you got to register online. you got to go online on the Lions website to register. And the other thing we have is our first ever Columbus Lions Youth NFL Flag League this summer. Okay. And uh, – that's on our website as well. That's brought to us by Domino's and uh, uh, Smile Doctors. And uh, the Domino sponsors that for us every year. Yeah. But the kids will come in. They get to play in the arena on the turf. We've already got teams forming. We're almost – we're going to probably be at our limit here in the next week. So, if they're going to register, they got to register soon. Okay. Um, and we'll place teams on kids. But all that stuff's on our website. Players are involved. The players referee the games. They get, the best part about flag football is kids get to play inside on the turf. Yeah, that's that's huge. And it's a blast. That's got to so, be a great experience. It's awesome. So that's what we have going on for this summer, and the players involved, and get the and the kids get out there. My kids are going to play in both, and I'm excited for it. Your your kids, coach, they they are pretty uh, rough and rugged about this thing, man. Well, they're rough and rugged, all right. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. The apples don't fall too far from the tree, Coach. Yeah, we'll see. Better be in <laughs> soft and weak. That's right. Any day of the week, Coach. Yeah, I guess. That's right. That's right. Well, we've also got preparation in line for June 9th, which is our next home game. Yep. It is AFLAC Childhood, Childhood Cancer Awareness Night. A very special night indeed. Well, that's going to be a big night. Um because AFLAC, oh, we always do the AFLAC Cancer Awareness Night every year. This year, we try, they, they're doing a big, huge campaign for childhood cancer awareness. Correct. So next Friday, and we'll talk about it on the next show next week, next Friday, we're taking uh, four or five players. We're going to the Cancer Center for the Children in Atlanta. Okay. And doing a whole coloring session, and we're going to have pictures of it all. Go up there and take them some gifts and footballs and eye black and all the little yeah. fun stuff. Meet the kids. Uh, hang out for that. We're wearing specialty superhero jerseys for the game. That'd be nice. We're auction all the money off, but it's just a, it's a great night to come out and uh, watch a good game. But we're going to be pushing that out social media all next week about the June 9th game. That's a big game against Maine Mammoth. We haven't played Maine yet. They're getting better, too, okay. as well. Okay. And that's just one of those games to where, you know, you get past Jacksonville. Um, hopefully we can. And you got Maine coming at home. you got to win your home games. That's right. But if you look at the month of June – and I don't know how it worked out this way, but we have five games in the month of June. My goodness. And two of which are at home. Two are at home, three yeah. on the road. But the month of June will define our whole season. So we're going to be sitting here in 30 days trying to figure out, like, again, hey, we are, are we going to be four and six? Are we going to be nine and one? Yeah. Or where we're going to be at. But once we get out of June, that's going to dictate the season to me. Exactly. Because we have Jacks, Maine, Massachusetts, Carolina, Massachusetts, Jacksonville. Yeah. Back to back to back to back to back. And now, stop. now it's go time. Yeah. And it starts with the June 9th game, uh, Athlete Childhood Cancer Awareness Night. And uh, definitely people come out for the support. Come out, watch football, and also support the cause. Got so Got to uh, do that's that. what's going on. You'll hear a lot about it and look forward to seeing everybody out there. Absolutely. Coach, this is that part of the show that everyone can appreciate. This is what we call our Spotlighters of the Week. Let's start with that collision surgeon's hit of the game, Coach. Man, Darius Rosser had a big safety, number 93, out of Arkansas State. Uh, did a great job. I think the quarterback actually had to get stitches. What? Yeah, he did. He left the game. So, uh, that was great. And that, now that's a collision surgeon's hit, collision. hit of the game. Well, so, gotta take make sure you out. visit Cindy out there at collision surgeons. That's right. Well, Coach, then we have the Sprague's Napa Auto Parts catch of the game. Who is that guy? Deron Neal, man. Pick one. Pick a catch. Any catch. They're all wow. catches of the game. I mean, he just gets after it. Uh, number five out of Oklahoma. Deron does a great job. Uh, it's, I think this is the second week in a row. Uh, congratulations to him, and make sure you get all your auto supplies at Sprague's Napa. That's right. Good point. Air Force Reserve, defensive player of the game. Robert Caldwell, number three, NC State. Started the game with a fumble recovery. I think he had two. Robert's the heart and soul of that defense and flies around, and uh, it's definitely a guy that I don't want to meet in the back alley. That's right. Then we've got Supercharged, offensive player of the game. Who's that guy, Coach? I love Supercharged. Supercharged. That's the blue stuff, palm man. berry, is that what it's called? Palm, yeah. Palm and yeah, gray. yeah, one of them. <laughs> That is like gold in my office. When the players see I got that when they're like, oh, Coach, you got any more? I'm like, no. Anyway, uh, Daron Neal, number five, Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, he had four touchdowns, and then he just has a knack for kicking the snot out of Lehigh Valley. <laughs> Going back to the playoff game last year, he had 15 catches. Man. Yeah, yeah. And he just loves playing up there. So, hope he doesn't play in there too much. There you go. There you go. And then last but certainly not least, the Midas Touch 
play of the game. Well, when you got nine touchdowns, that's a guarantee. So that's Come Mason on. Espinosa. He's yeah. playing well. He only had four incompletions the entire game. What? The entire game. So um, they had more. I think they had more interceptions than he had incompletes. So, but anyway, it was it was a great game. Uh, you know, again, congratulations to Mason, minus touch, and um, uh, you know, appreciate all the sponsors that do what they do for these guys. Absolutely. Well, coach. I just want to thank you, man, for all that you do, for all that the Lions are doing. Lion Nation, we want to appreciate everything that you all are doing in terms of support of your Columbus Lions. The Tri-City area, Fort Benning, we love you. All points between Auburn, Noonan, Ladonia, Salem, Smith Station, all points between Montgomery, Tuskegee, Auburn, all of you good folks that continue. And even Atlanta, we've got folks from Atlanta. Noonan. Noonan that have caught a hold of this Lion Nation experience even the announcer at Jacksonville who says they don't watch the show because they mentioned it at the game oh wow figured out though isn't that interesting yeah I'd really like to meet that guy they've got good fans I met one of their fans Miguel Miguel came to our last Lions Jacksonville game what, okay just a great fan what a great guy man he was so much fun I'm, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to going down there some of their fans because they're you know they're just they're just good people they're good people all throughout the league but he was pretty fun but you know, just a shout out to all the people that, that don't watch the show. <laughs> shout out to all of those who don't watch the show, you haters. Haters are going to hate. That's what they do. Right here at Lion Nation. We appreciate your support. Continue to support Lion Nation. Lion Nation will continue to support our community in which we live in because we're good stewards and that's just how we do it. I'm your host, Dr. Love in the jungle, Eric Fowler in the streets, director of operations and head coach, Jason Gibson!